Welcome to The Randy Show. I am Brian Thompson from the James Randy Educational Foundation, and with me as always is the man himself, James Randy. Hi there, Brian. How have you been? Uh, I've been all right. It's been a busy, busy week, and I heard, now I don't know if this is true, but somebody told me that you have a fairly impressive artifact that's come into yeah. your possession. I came upon this. This is... Um, is an edition of uh, Nostradamus, uh, of the predictions of Nostradamus, Les Prophéties. And uh, what's interesting about it is this is the only one that I've, well, I guess you can see that fairly accurately there. This is from 1668, which is a later edition, 1555 was the first. And this is from 1668, but there are many editions of it. The interesting thing about this particular one here this is the uh, the size, literally the same measurement and size and everything as the original book of Nostradamus, because paper was uh, pretty valuable in those days, as you know. Um, and there's nonsense in here anyway, so if you're going to print nonsense, print it small. Um, but uh, this edition is not listed anywhere in the bibliography of uh, the editions of uh, the uh, prophecies of Nostradamus. Uh, which is very interesting to me. I'd uh, like to know if I've got something really extremely rare on my hands. This is one, one of these things uh, that our good friend, uh, who will remain nameless at the moment, uh, because he blushes easily, who is our, our, our main uh, sponsor over the years, who deals in rare books. And uh, he bought a lot from Sotheby's in, uh, in the UK. And this little book was tucked away in mind of it. It's leather bound. It's beautifully, beautifully done. Beautifully done. And uh, this is a rebinding, by the way. It certainly wasn't done in 1668. But it is really beautifully done, I must say. And it says right there in Nostradamus, which you can probably read if you're very careful. Okay, anyway, um, this is interesting to me because it's not listed in any of the very um, plentiful biographies, pardon me, the bibliographies of uh, the, the prophecies of Nostradamus. So uh, I don't know that it's extremely rare, only one was printed, I'm not too sure. But uh, the differences in the different editions of Nostradamus are very interesting too. There was one that uh, came along, and I have to check this one out, I haven't had the opportunity to look it up. There are a couple of prophecies in there that, um, that very distinctly refer uh, to um, Cardinal Richelieu in France, who was... Um, a uh, very controversial character, and uh, they obviously were doted upon by readers of uh, of the prophecies because they they doomed him to hell and he was going to be uh, cast down from his high office and such. The problem was that those two <laughs> quadrains don't exist in any other edition of Nostradamus um, because this was printed up as a political move. Can you imagine? That, that's really going far out to have uh, these, these thousands of uh, prophecies printed here in a tiny book like that and all bound very carefully uh, to introduce quatrains that, that weren't in the original. And uh, I guess they sent a copy of it to Richelieu and said, so there, ha ha. But uh, reference to any other copy of the prophecies, we showed that those were invented. And the French was totally different too. The French, uh, the old French, this is OF officially, old French, is very, very strange. I'm sure it's as weird as uh, folks like me who were forced to memorize parts of the Canterbury Tales and can barely recognize that as English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Sumer is a coming in and a few things like that, yes. Yeah, well, anyway, that's um, the story of uh, my, my most recent, recent invention. This is going into the, the, uh, the big mechanical safe downstairs. We actually have a safe along with uh, my 16, uh, no, 1560, yeah, 1568 uh, edition of Nostradamus, considerably earlier than that, uh, and uh, my discovery of witchcraft, um, one, of, one of the the very old copies of it that survived James the, uh, was that James the first of England? He was James the second of Scotland. It, it's a very complicated thing. I, I mean, there's James I, the first of England, there's James the Amazing of Toronto, yeah, there you go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
Yeah. So I do have to ask yes. you. I have to ask you one question about this. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. Have you ever been tempted to doom your enemies via coded quatrain? <laughs> In French, no. I, I, my French is um, almost intolerable. Uh, un deux trois quatre cinq six set with neuf dix. This is French Canadian French. That's the way they count to ten in French Canada and Parisians just shudder when they they hear this kind of pronunciation. The Randy Show is a production of the James Randy Educational Foundation. To learn more about how we promote science and critical thinking, go to randy.org.